Hello everybody, this is my newest project showcase and it's a dot matrix display powered by a Pico W. It allows you to send messages over the Wi-Fi and for them to be displayed on the display um, like this. Um, you can, you know, it's Wi-Fi enabled so you can send these messages from, you know, anywhere in the world as long as you've forwarded your port. Um, here's a little example piece of code. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple. Here it is. Um, it's quite a bit simpler than the other project. Um, all it is is a Pico W right here. Um, all of the GPIO that needs to be connected is connected to the the dot matrix display. And I mean, yeah, um, this is a very very simple project. Just just plug it in. It hosts a little web server and it sends the data to the display right here. Um, and the 3D model in the GitHub will be a little bit different than this one. This one has grooves specially like for my monitor so we can sit on my monitor. The one on the GitHub will be completely flat so you could put it on a desk or something of that of that sort. Um, but yeah, it's um I mean it's wireless except that it has to be powered on, you know. And there it is. And also as you might have noticed here, there is a, a micro USB to USB C adapter. And this is because I wanted the port to be flush with the edge like this. And I figured that would have been difficult to do with the existing micro USB port given, you know, it's kind of weird shape and how it would have to position the Pico. So yeah, I will link this specific adapter in the description in case you want to build this. It's not very expensive. Um, but yeah. All right. Now I'm going to walk you through some of the code and let you see the object files because they're a little bit different. Um, this is the driver for the dot matrix display. It was made by Mike Causer. Causer? I'm not really sure. And then it was actually added to by a um, user called Fidelius Falcon on GitHub. And he made a really simple text scrolling function for it. And then I added this alert function here um, to blink the screen twice so that you know a message is about to appear. Um, most of the code for the actual web server part is taken from the Raspberry Pi website um, on this news article. And then I modified it in order to receive a message as an argument in the URL and then display it on the screen. Um, this is not the best way to do it. You know, if you wanted to upgrade this, you might, instead of making the message an argument, you might make it a, a piece of information in the body of a post request as opposed to a get request, which is what I'm using now. Um, so yeah, that might be something to, to think about, but, um, this works, uh, it works just fine as it is. Um, and then here's the, the format you could use to send a request to it. Um, it's real simple. And then here's what the object files that are in the GitHub look like. Um, it's just like the one that I have on my monitor, except the little grooves on the bottom that fit it on my monitor are gone. And this is smaller. Um, but yeah, you know, this is just the end. It'll just go right on the end of this with all the internals inside. And everything should be fine with that.